Oh, I like it. I'm just gonna sit here. This is the game, guys. anything. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corps. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative and there will most, almost certainly be further casualties as with the others. However, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients, patients <laughs> preciouses is increasing as the morphogenic, morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit, respectively, Helen Gannett. Good. <laughs> I won't fucking go in a room anyway. <laughs> Where 
where did that dude go? Wednesday, February 10, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. <sighs> A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was inactive. Or inactive. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed the fear of firearms in any fashion, that was she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awkward state to pick, it up, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. <clears throat> like that fucking music at all. Another battery already. Turn on the two gas bumps and the main breaker to restart. <laughs> 
No! Fuck! Oh, I'm almost out of battery. I can't see anything. Oh, do I have another battery? Yes! I gotta go to the bathroom, guys. <laughs>